Myasthenia gravis is an autoimmune disorder in which there is an antibody attack to various targets at the neuromuscular junction at the receptor site. We recognized back in the late 70s that complement played a critical role in the pathogenesis, facilitated the binding of antibody, the degradation of the uh, antibody complex, and most importantly, the initiation of a complement mediated attack resulting in the lytic destruction of the membrane itself. And when one looks at histopathology under the electron micrograph, one sees an architectural reorganization of the neuromuscular junction from highly complex folds to one of simplicity. That loss of the complex folds reduces the number of available receptors uh, for depolarization so that the muscle fiber can reach uh, a potential sufficient to generate an action potential. While we knew that complement played a critical role in the 70s, there was little we could do with it. Uh, Andy Engel first demonstrated it uh, with his elegant studies of ultrastructure. Van de Lennon also at the Mayo Clinic, our laboratory, were able to block the transfer or the induction of experimental myasthenia through cobra venom factor, which inhibits complement. So everything went on the back burner, and it wasn't until the mid-90s when a monoclonal antibody to complement, the C5 portion of complement, uh, was identified, produced, and it wasn't until the late 2000s uh, that we were able to use it therapeutically uh, in the treatment of myasthenia. Initially, a very small pilot study, 14 patients trying to determine if there was a signal in which there was, led to the development and the implementation of a large phase three trial, enrolling 125 patients at 92 centers throughout the entire world. That trial was concluded a few months ago, and the data is presented at the International Congress of Neuromuscular Disease. Uh, the primary endpoint, which was a change in the MG myasthenia gravis activities of daily living scale, uh, was narrowly missed uh, with a p-value of 0 0.06. Um, other measures, all of them predefined prior to the initiation of the study, used to validate the primary endpoint were um, positive with p-values of less than 0.05. The secondary measures that were used, the quantified myasthenia gravis score, 30-point scoring system over multiple domains, uh, the uh, myasthenia quality of life instrument, and the um, myasthenia composite score all demonstrated p-values of 0.05 using various measures of responder analysis, sensitivity analysis. So when one looks at the recent study that was done with um, uh, any C5 uh, complement inhibition, uh, the totality of the study highly supports a therapeutic role for complement inhibition in the treatment of myasthenia. The population was restricted. It was refractory disease, a very ultra-rare subcomponent representing perhaps 10-12% of the patients we deal with on a daily basis, uh, failing at least two immune suppressive agents, many much more than that, or failing one agent and requiring chronic plasma exchange or intravenous immunoglobulin therapy. So they defined the population that, that was studied. Um, and the investigating team in TOTO uh, did a phenomenal job in, in recruiting patients uh, into the study. Um, the study was randomized one-to-one -to, -one, uh, to an investigational drug arm and to a placebo arm. 62 in the drug arm, 63 in the placebo arm, uh, treated for 26 weeks. And then 94, 95% of these patients have rolled over into an open label uh, trial uh, with the investigational drug. The other issue to consider is safety. 
and in Toto the number of adverse events was similar uh, in both groups but when one looks at severe uh, adverse events um, twice as many in the placebo arm than in the treated arm. Um, the study did not hit the primary endpoint primarily because there were four dropouts uh, and using the statistical analysis uh, that was decided upon by the sponsor and the regulatory agencies, what's called a worst rank analysis, um, those dropouts go to the bottom of the pile, so to speak. Uh, and despite the fact that three of the four dropouts uh, for reasons other than uh, the study drug, um, all were improving uh, in terms of their uh, primary endpoint, the MGADL score. Um, so one simply can't look at a single point in time and make a determination of how effective uh, this drug is. One has to look at the total data. And so 18 of these 22 predefined measures of uh, attempted validity, sensitivity analysis, responder analysis, all supported uh, the effects that the drug um, has a potential role in the treatment of refractory myasthenia gravis.